So we use a scientific method to solve empirical problems and discover empirical truths and empirical patterns. And roughly speaking, the scientific method consists of number one, observing, number two, forming a hypothesis, which takes imagination and so on, number three, testing the hypothesis, and then number four, interpreting the data to confirm or disconfirm the hypothesis. And then you repeat these four steps as needed. And one virtue of this method is that we can test any scientific claim if we have the proper knowledge and equipment. Another virtue is that we can use a scientific method to solve everyday problems, like including your problems with, say, your relationships, your money, or work-related problems. So the following exercise will give you practice solving your problems through scientific reasoning. So uh, let's take the first problem. The fire alarm is not working. The first step is to observe and define the problem. So I define it as the problem is it doesn't beep when I push the button. The second step is to hypothesize. My hypothesis is it's a dead battery. The third step is to test that hypothesis. So I try a new battery, right? And then finally we interpret the results. Let's say that in this case the alarm works. So now my hypothesis about the battery was correct. Right? Now if it doesn't work, you know, I might get a little frustrated and so on, but I need to start the process over again um, and come up with a new hypothesis like it has a loose wire and test that. Okay, and that's it. You, these, it's very simple, but it's also a very powerful uh, method to solve uh, many types of problems. And um, there are several points to keep in mind, but let me just say this. Science is more of a, this four-step process than it is a body of knowledge. So in our daily lives, we often emotionally react and jump to quick solutions when faced with problems. But following the four steps of the scientific process can help us slow down and discover more intelligent solutions. Also, in your study of philosophy, you'll explore deeper questions about science. So, for example, are there any non-scientific forms of knowledge? Right. Uh, what justifies induction, which knowledge relies on quite a bit? Can science tell us what we ought to do? Um, or does it, just inf does it just inform what we ought to do? Can we scientifically prove logical and mathematical truths, or are they presupposed for science? Does introspection give knowledge, even though I can't scientifically observe your introspective thoughts? Right? So these are challenging questions that should help you discover the scope of science without diminishing its awesome power. But the purpose of this video is just on a practical level, on an everyday level, we can use this four-step uh, process to solve many of our um, problems. And you might be saying it's common sense, and, and maybe it is common sense, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but a lot of times when people are faced with a problem, they emotionally react. Um, and if you have this strategy memorized, internalized, you can slow down and remember this strategy and walk through these four steps instead of panicking and, solve, and thereby solve many of your problems. So in this activity, I'm going to give you um, several problems here and see if you can apply this four-step process to come up with some good solutions. And then on the uh, last slide, I'll show you some possible answers. Thanks. <clears throat>